is it hard for people with ADHD to use AI? No, on the contrary. Mm. On the contrary. Uh, ADHD, um, AI plays very well with ADHD. Why? Well, people with ADHD, they have a hard time focusing, a hard time uh, sometimes ex- expressing their thoughts. Um, and there are a whole bunch of you know conditions which are not ADHD, which are in this realm, where uh, dyslexia, you know, it is hard for you to, you know, write the words or express yourself. Now, in the way LLMs work, and I think you said it earlier about um, uh, GPT-4, is that you can prompt it with a couple of words and it infers what what you actually mean. It infers the missing context. Yes, mm. it infers all this missing context. And imagine someone uh, who has some kind of condition and then they write, you know, um, Seth Godin, um, I don't know, books. Mm. Well, they cannot formulate a whole sentence, but the AI will say, oh, Seth Godin is a marketing genius who has written many books and, and starts uh, talking. You can even, um, you know, use it to rephrase your own sentences. Imagine, I don't know, Stephen Hawking, if he could have access to this AI, he so for Stephen Hawking to express all his thoughts, he had to write them. It, it would take him so much time to write and, and, you know, express all the thoughts. Imagine if he had access to GPT models and he could, you know, start to formulate a sentence and then, or just write them the, a bullet points mm. and then it would express it as a normal person. Mm. This is very, very helpful for people with disabilities and across the board, everybody loves it. So everybody I've, I've spoke, spoken to all the information I've mm. uh, found on the internet, all the people with some kind of conditions like this, they really, really find it super helpful for mm. um, th- their coping in society in general. Okay, so you're saying that, in a sense, AI can act as an equalizer. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. But not only for people with ADHD, because we're, we're framing it in this way. Uh, there are people who have no condition or nothing. They just cannot, don't, they don't have good soft skills, right? Mm. It's hard for them to express it in this, I don't know, um, in the way society expects you to talk, right? Mm. And um, AI can help quite a lot with with this, you know. You're you're someone who is very uh, rude. You're not rude. You sound rude, mm. and and you're like, how can I say this in a more polite manner? Yeah. AI will immediately help you with this, and um, yeah. I have to admit, I've used it for that purpose exactly. <laughs> Me too. I need it. <laughs> yeah. 